Okay, what we've got here is a bass line that we've recorded using uh, direct input, no, no hardware compressor. And as you can see, it's uh, sort of uh, dynamic as far as, you know, this, this part of the waveform is very low. Um, here it, it peaks and then it dies off quickly. So what I'm going to do is sort of simulate a hardware compression. Uh, it's something that if I have a hardware compressor available I will always use it for uh, drums, bass, guitar, vocals, keyboard, anything on the way in to the computer to give myself a smooth uh, signal to work with making it uh, less difficult and, and less work for the the software compressors. So what we've got here is uh, I'm gonna go to my compressors and the VTC vacuum tube compressor which comes with Mixcraft Pro Studio 7 and what I'll do is uh, loop a section of this and then I'm going to adjust this compressor to where it sounds like uh, the bass line is, is much more even than it previously was and I want that attack as quick as possible and I'm going to leave the release way out there uh, so that uh, we don't have uh, dips and jumps in the uh, the dynamics okay and then what we'll do is right click on this track and choose mix to a new audio track and it comes out stereo so I will right click and go to properties and channels and make it just the left channel and we'll pull this a little higher here track height and you can see for instance here where this dies out it does not die out anymore here so you've got a much smoother more consistent waveform happening as if you used a hardware compressor on the way in to the computer and we'll listen to that by itself yeah you can hear it um, it may be a bit extreme for some of you uh, I just did that to uh, make obvious the the compression that we're using here and, and, and strengthen my point and we'll apply that to a vocal recording as well open up that compressor it's the same settings I used on that bass line so we'll just mix to a new track and when that's done I'm going to properties channel left and let's raise that track height yeah you can really see it here it's just smoothed out the whole the whole thing um, here in the beginning of this uh, our vocalist is singing sort of light and then she gets louder here, uh, which that can be a problem when you're when you're mixing because you've got you've got to change volumes and things to uh, compensate for the the change in uh, level from the the source, the vocalist. But here we've got this this compressor has taken care of that, and yeah, I could just leave this compressor on uh, this track. Uh, and, and not mix this new track but what I'm doing by doing this is uh, alleviating some of the uh, workload on the CPU by not having to have this compressor on this track once I get everything else into this project drums bass guitar etc then it's gonna get pretty heavy on the uh, CPU and to alleviate some of that is a good idea another reason uh, is that yeah this is compressed now as if it were uh, hardware compressor were used but now what I'll do if this were an actual project that I was working on I would still add another compressor and set it up the way I always do Go from the sky the thunder booms the lightning strikes and that's gonna smooth it out even more with less work for the CPU mm -hmm. 